Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, the special education process. Here we're going to answer the question of how do students get into and out of special education. Now let's begin with step number one, screening. Schools must take steps to identify students that may be eligible for special education services. One method of screening is through referrals. States have mandated schools to do a quote child find procedure. The next step is the evaluation. Here the student is assessed in a wide variety of areas related to the suspected disability. These results are used at the eligibility meeting and the parents have a right for an independent evaluation and the school must pay for it. Third, eligibility determination. At this stage, school personnel, professionals, and parents analyze the results to determine whether or not a child can receive services. Again, the parents have the right to contest the decision. Now, if a child is eligible, the next step is the IEP meeting. An IEP meeting is scheduled and the parent is invited. At the meeting, they discuss the best possible way to meet the student's needs. After the meeting, the IEP must be written and finalized. The IEP should contain short and long-term goals, strengths and weaknesses, transition planning, present level of academic achievement, and other required components. It's important to know that the IEP is in fact a legal document. The next step is for the school to provide services for the student. The school must follow the written plans in the IEP as well as ensure the student receive the appropriate accommodations on any type of standardized test. Related services must also be provided. Moving on to number seven, which is to report progress. Progress reports must be sent out as often as non-disabled students. Now, number eight, review of the IEP. The IEP is reviewed at the very least one time a year. The parents are invited to review meetings where the IEP can be amended. The parents also have the right to fight the educational placement of the child. And lastly, re-evaluation of the IEP. The child must be re-evaluated for special education at least once every three years. The results of testing will determine if the child continues to receive special education services. It is at this step that many students exit special education. Right now, I would like to say thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, 